Good morning guys, it's Rochelle from Monoline Furniture again in beautiful Sydney and today I'm over on the Dixie Bad channel. I love it, I love seeing that. Right, let's have a look at what we're working on today. So today I've got this um, entry table, console table. Um, you may call it something different in the US. And I can't think of what that name may be. Someone educate me, please tell me. Right, at the moment, these are all the products that I think I'm gonna be using. Do not hold me to this, because if you know anything of me, it's that I change my mind as I go and I make it up as I go. But I'll just introduce you to what I think I'm gonna be using first and then we'll run with that. So firstly, I will be cleaning it with white lightning, use gloves I always forget to wear gloves use gloves people okay and I will pre-mix this I've got it pre-mixed in a squirty bottle and then I rinse off with clean water afterwards next where should we go right these drawer friends I'm gonna be changing the drawer pulls to what I don't know but I'm gonna be using the same holes so I'm gonna stick with that so I don't need to fill those I'm going to do some raised stenciling on the front using the Morocco stencil from the Bells and Whistles line. These are great because they're so large. The raised stencil medium I'm going to use is Dixie Bell Mud in the white. I will apply it with the Dixie Bell Mud spatula. Okay, for the body I'm going to go with Chalk Mineral Paint in Savannah Mist which is a light grey, looks like it's got a bit of a tinge, tinge of blue to it. I've not used it, so we'll see how we go with that. Um, paint brushes, I've got my mid, mini and what's this one called? RL. I don't know, it's round, I haven't used it yet. So I'm keen to give that one a go. And for the top, I'm gonna go with the No, Pal no Paint Gel Stain Walnut and I'm gonna mix it with Mama's Butter, <coughs> excuse me, Orange Grove. This is a tip that I saw recently on Lily Moon Vintage, Yari at Lily, Lily Moon Vintage. Mix those together. It's because they're both oil based that you can do that. And I think it just gives you a little bit more work time and makes it easier to work with. We'll see. I actually find no paint gel stain easy to work with anyway. But I'm going to give that a go and it'll give it a nice smell. And I will apply that with the applicator uh, pad. Again, I haven't used these before. So actually, I'll wear gloves when I'm doing that. What else have I got? So I'm gonna seal it, the body, but I'm gonna wait until I've got the paint on, until I decide what color wax I'm gonna use. I'm definitely gonna be going over it with clear first because that gives me a good base and I can then use it as an eraser if I, if I decide to take the other colors off. But I've also got black and white that I may use. But like I said, don't hold me to any of this really because it could all change. Right, I'll get prepping it, and then we'll get started. Okay, scuff sanding complete, cleaning with white lightning complete, and rinsed off with fresh water. Now, I'm going in with my chalk paint. Multi-juice tool, my teeth. And I'm sticking with Savannah Mist. So, mix this girl up. Very nice. Oh, that's so thick and lovely. I haven't primed because when I've been cleaning it, there was no bleed through. I think I'm gonna be good. This coverage is amazing. Just saying. Really, really lovely. Whoa. So I'll list the all the products that I use will be listed in the description. You can um, use the link that's in the description or you can have a look for your local stockist to buy the products. Dixie Bell will um, list everything. I love this brush. So when you get little areas that there's a little bit of indentations, just give a little poke. At this stage, you're not worried about brush strokes or anything like that. You just need to get the coverage. You just need to get it in there. The next coat is when you'll 
be a little bit more deliberate with your, your um, brush strokes. But even then, just using your mister and giving a, a really fine sand afterwards, even with a brown paper bag, will give you um, that buttery smooth finish with no brush strokes. This is great. Okay, I'll carry on. This is gonna be two coats, no more than two coats. I'll come back to you when that's done. And then I need to decide, like I said, what, um, which wax I'm gonna use. There's not much detailing that I could bring out with a black, but I may just wanna turn down the color or something. So anyway, I won't know until I get there, never do. Okay, let's get this ray stencil going. So all I've done that here is I've attached it using a spray on adhesive. It's just a temporary, I'll be able to peel it off easily, but that's gonna, just gonna reduce any risk of bleed through, which there is a high risk of bleed through when you're doing ray stenciling so you need to keep it as flat as possible so i'm using the dixie bell mud in white and the dixie bell mud spatula Right, let's peel this off. Oh, look at that, guys. Isn't that beautiful? Like I say, I've got these bits here, not a drama at all. That's gorgeous. Can you see the raised on it? The effect, that's gonna look beautiful. So I, I could actually leave that as it is. I'm not going to, I wanna paint it so that I've got that wallpaper effect, but that's gorgeous. Very happy. Right, as you know, I like to change things up as I go. So this is looking a little bit boring here. So I'm gonna go with a wood you bend. If you haven't used these before, they're amazing. You just heat them up, they become pliable, you glue them on, and then you can paint them, sand them, do whatever you want, a, a glaze, wax, whatever. This one comes in a set of two. You see there's one either side. So I'm gonna put one either side after I've unwrapped it. This, so this one for reference is 2160. They've all got numbers. So this is gonna go here. Now it does overlap there a tiny bit, but I can just snip that off if I decide to. But I don't think I will. I like it. Okay, so all I need to do now is heat it up. And I'll do that with my little craft heat gun. So we're pliable. Now I'm going in with my glue. I'm using Well Bond, but um, I believe Dixie Bell has, I think it's called Tight Bond in the US. We don't have that here. So this would be an alternative to that. You literally want it on every, every spot. Just be quite um, free with it. You can wipe it off afterwards, any excess you can wipe off. But like I say, you want to be able to get it to adhere in every spot. So we can just wipe it off after with a, a damp cloth or baby wipe or something like that. But get it on everywhere. Okay, now I'm going to stick it on. If it's on an area where you think it might take a little while to, or it's, it's awkward, you could lay it on its back or I've seen people actually use tape to hold it in place whilst it's gluing. You've got a little bit of movement initially. All right, I've got a little cloth here. I'm just gonna wipe around all this excess. 
but that's stuck down really well so I'm gonna go all over it now and just push down everywhere like I say it's a flat surface but with any piece of wood there's variance you know so once this is dry I'll actually get in there with a brush to get those de the, the glue out of those areas then I can paint it as usual I'll do the other side get the second coat on and then we need to do the top so this is dried now I've just gone over it with some 600 sandpaper literally I'm not pressing down or anything all I'm doing is making sure that any rough areas are gone and any sort of um, raised not raised areas any um, peaks and that's lovely and now I'm going to go straight over and paint it so it's the same colour like I said all this is going to do is give it um, an embossed look so like it's, it's wallpaper look at it it's amazing so you don't need to worry about the little errors if you have any while you're doing the stenciling because as soon as you paint it you don't see anything like that you just see the beautiful finish Right, let's get some stain on. So I'm going with no pain gel stain in the walnut. Um, I did mention that I might mix it with the Big Mama's Butter. But I'm gonna give it a go without it first because I've never had an issue with it. So let's go. Right, so I need to, what I'm gonna do is just scoop a bit out onto this pad. So these are the, um, applicator pads so I'm just going to scoop a bit out onto it like so and then just go with it so it's a bit hard to get your head around it initially because you're not staining it's not like a, a regular stain it's just going over the top of an existing finish this is nice these pads actually first time using these really nice so these are oil based so it'll take longer to dry which also means you have longer work time which is great you don't use them much love this product right I'm gonna leave it there all I need to do now is to seal the piece and then then we're done and I, I still haven't decided what I'm going to do in terms of sealing but you'll find out soon enough so I've got my uh, Dixie Bell wax brush called La Petite this is the new brush out I've got my white um, Best Hang Wax and my clear. First of all, I'm going on with clear. There's a good chance I'm going to go in with black afterwards. But don't be shocked. When you open the clear, it looks white. It dries clear. Now I'm just going to see what it's like with the white. But like I said, I think I'm going to go black. Because we've got the, the, the top is quite dark, I think I'll probably work in line with a dark colour. But let's just have a look and see what this brings out. Oh, I do like the white. I'm just gonna go and get the black and have a look. Okay, I've got the black. So the other thing you could do with this would be dry brushing. So with a wax, it sort of sits in the um, lower areas. When you dry brush, it sits on the top. So it depends what sort of look you're after. I'm just gonna use the same brush a second. And I'll just see 
how I go with the black just on this bit it doesn't matter I can brush it off if I want to but I think this is probably the direction I'm going to want to go in because I don't want such a contrast between the top and the bottom so I can now wipe that back and go and grab a cloth so I'll just wipe that back now yeah and it just ages it so you'd never know that piece was I just put my hand straight in that you'd never know that that piece had just been added it's just got that age now I love what black wax does to a piece love it she's finished look at me I've gone all out on the staging today I just sort of wanted to make it look how I would have it if I was to keep it in my home I'm not going to keep it but um, I wanted to make it all homely I'm so happy with it so the woody bend looks fantastic the raised stenciling is just beautiful it's such um, a lovely effect and it takes next to no time it's so lovely right I better get some photos of this girl and advertise her that's it guys another one done another day another dollar thank you so much for watching thanks for sticking with me thanks to Dixie Bell for having me on your channel and I will see you next time take care guys